Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio. Today we are talking about the Equalizer 3. And more specifically, uh, Denzel Washington himself confirms that the Equalizer 3 will start filming this year, this year being 2022. And guys, just before we get started reading into this article, I would just like to remind you that at least one of my videos every week from now on is going to be exclusive to my BitChute and Odyssey channels. So if you're only watching this on YouTube, you are not going to get every single video that comes out from me. The links to my BitChute and Odyssey channels are down below in the description. Uh, Denzel Washington confirms that the third installment in the popular Equalizer movie franchise will start filming at some point this year, again this year being 2022. Uh, Denzel Washington officially confirms that the Equalizer 3 will start filming at some point in 2022. Based on the 1980 series of the same name, the Equalizer released in 2014 follows Robert McCall, played by Denzel, as he attempts to free a young woman from her entanglement with Russian gangsters. The film proved relatively successful with critics and audiences and performed well at the box office, spawning a sequel in 2018. Now, I saw the Equalizer at the time, like at the time it came out, like 2014, 2015, when it came out onto, onto home video, but I have not seen it since, and I have not seen The Equalizer 2, so this is not an opinion on, you know, either, you know, the first Equalizer or the second one. Uh, while The Equalizer 2 didn't generally fare as well with critics as the first film, it nonetheless proved adequate, adequately, it performed adequately at the box office. Soon after The Equalizer 2, Antoine Fuqua, who directed both installments, confirmed that he was interested in making a third film in the franchise, but there have been almost no updates regarding the project in recent months. Both Fuqua and Washington have stayed busy since The Equalizer 2, with Fuqua having directed Infinite and the, Infinite and the Guilty, and Washington having appeared in The Little Things, and most recently, Joel's, Joel Cohen's The Tragedy of Macbeth. Uh, during the press tour for The Strategy of Macbeth, Washington confirmed to BlackFilmAndTV.com that The Equalizer 3 is indeed scheduled to start shooting this year, with Fuqua attached to direct. Plot details regarding the film are essentially non-existent at this point, but with filming taking place this year, audiences can expect more information, including casting announcements, in the coming months. As taken proved in 2008 with Liam Neeson, there was a large market for, for, for action movies starring aging Hollywood legends, and the Equalizer franchise is no exception. The Equalizer 2 features Pedro Pascal as the main villain, and while McCall killed Pascal's character at the end of the film, oh, sorry, should I should I have said spoiler alert there? Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in. It's likely that the third installment will feature an actor of similar caliber in the villain role. Unfortunately, Washington doesn't confirm when exactly this year The Equalizer 3 will start shooting, but a 2023 release date for the film does seem likely given the time frame. Washington is widely regarded as one of the most talented actors working in Hollywood today, and it's fortunate that audiences still get to see him in fun, action-oriented roles in addition to his more prestigious movies. The Equalizer films aren't exactly about to win Washington any awards, but they do provide thrills, graphic violence, and a healthy dose of well-choreographed action. Considering Washington is now pushing 70 years old, um, damn, I didn't, I didn't realize he was going to be that old. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and restart. Considering Washington is now pushing 70 years old, however, it, it seems likely that the Equalizer 3 will be his last time playing Robert McCall and that the film will, will act as a send off for a character. Then again, Harrison Ford is nearly 80 years old and is still playing Indiana Jones, so perhaps Washington does have a few more Equalizer films in him. And this is one of the problems with casting older actors to be in action movies. You know, this is why they always they, they always said, you know, you're an old man in action movies the minute that you turn 50. Because usually by that point, a lot of those actors can't really do what they used to be able to do back when they were like in their 20s and 30s, like typically in their prime. But something that I find really, really funny with regards to The Equalizer 3 is now you're going to have a series that has two competing continuities. You know, you have the movies that are based on the 1980 series that previously starred uh, Robert Woodward, I believe, as Robert McCall. Um, that's what the movies are based off of. And now you have the, the revival show on CBS of the same name starring Queen Latifah as a completely different character. So it's funny that, you know, that you have the Equalizer in the movies are, you know, one continuity and one continuity only, and you have the television show, which is completely separate, and neither of which even, you know, even reference each other. So is that really, is that really a deal breaker? 
Not really. I just, I just, per I just personally find that very interesting. I, like I said, I don't think it's a deal breaker for most people that, you know, the movies and the TV show are two completely separate things because, uh, DC comics has done that for, for many, many years. And, you know, and they've been, and they've been openly honest in saying that the TV universe is separate from what we do in the movie. So if super, so if Superman kills general Zod in man of steel, that doesn't mean it's going to carry over to, you know, the new, you know, the new Justice League cartoon type, type of thing. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here before I tangent off for way too long, like I almost just did. So, guys, if you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. And if you've been following me long enough, you know I'm terrible at ending these videos. So I will just see you guys uh, next time.